Hi everyone, um, this is number 33 um, from page 192 of the homework. Um, so this is a system of inequalities. We need to graph all of our inequalities. And of course in order to do that we need to rewrite them in slope intercept form. So I subtracted 3x and now I'm going to divide everything by 4. So this is my first equation, how I'm going to graph it. My second equation, let's rewrite that one as well. So I'm going to subtract 5x from both sides. And then divide everything by 6. Okay, and that's my second equation. y is less than or equal to negative 5 6x plus 5. And my last inequality is already graphable. Those are just going to be vertical lines since it's x equals. Let me get my xy axis set up so we can graph. Okay, let's start with our first inequality where our y intercept is 3. And our slope is negative 3 over 4, telling us to go down 3 over 4. You could go backwards, you could go up 3 to the left 4, and these actually get connected with a solid line because it says or equal to, which is nice. And then since it says x or y is greater than, you're going to shade everything above your line. For our second inequality, let's plot our y intercept which is positive 5. Our slope is negative 5 over 6, telling us to go down 5 over 6. And these also get connected with a straight line, or solid line, pardon me. Try that again. And this problem says y is less than or equal to, so I'm going to shade everything below my yellow line. You can already start to see some of the overlapping areas. Okay. Let's And now let's graph our vertical lines. So my first one um, is going to be a vertical line through 1. And I know that they're vertical because it says x equals. Let me pick a different color for that line. Try a little brighter. So we have x equals 1. And then we have x equals 3. And since um, our x is squished in between on the graph, we shade everything squished in between. So for these types of problems, it might be... Um, a little bit easier to label your lines because we are going to need to know which lines we're working with. So remember our yellow line was that first inequality. But I'm just going to write it as an equation because we're just thinking about the line. The blue line was our second equation. And this is x equals 1 and this is x equals 3. So you could see that our um, shaded area in the middle, that middle quadrilateral is the area where all three colors overlap. So this middle area is the answer to our inequality. But for this problem they also asked us to find the vertices which were here, 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 and here. We want to know those four values, okay? Um, so let's start with this value right here. Um, since we can't just eyeball it because it's not 
um, a precise point, we need to take the two lines that make this um, point. So you can see that it has that green line that is x equals 1 and that yellow line that is 3x plus 4y equals 12. So I'm going to take those two equations and set up a system of... My Chromebook. So this is my system of equations. Um, so since we already know what x is, I'm just going to plug that in to find my y value. So I get y equals 9 over 4. So there's my x and my y value. So for this point, my coordinate is 1, 9 over 4. All right, let's look at this next point. How about right here? Once again, I'm going to work with the two lines that make this intersection. So I have x equals 3. and 3x plus 4y equals 12. So this is my system of equations. I'm going to plug in my value for 3 to solve for y. So this point is 3, 3 quarters. Now let's work with this coordinate point. So the two equations I'm working with here are 5x plus 6y equals 30. And x equals 3. So I'm going to plug in my x value. and I get five halves. So this value right here is three five halves. And then for this last point, I am working with the equations five x plus six y equals 30. and the equation x equals 1. So I'm going to plug in my x value to find my y. Oops. Sorry, this was supposed to say plus 6y. So 6y equals 25, which means y equals 25 sixths. So this coordinate point is 1, 25, sixths. So there are your four coordinate points. So you have your four vertices in your shaded area and you are good to go.